Good morning, Saints Peter and Paul Panthers. It has been a while. I hope you all enjoyed your spring break. I hope you took some time to relax and to rest and to enjoy your family. Um, we've got lots of family time and that's something that we can be thankful for right now. Um, I hope you are all ready to get started. I know you have your materials already and teachers are getting ready to do something new this week. They're gonna be doing some live lessons and check-ins so you can actually talk to your teachers in real time. So that'll be something good for you and you'll be able to see all of your classmates. And I hope you guys take the opportunity to participate that in that um, the best that you can. Um, and if you can't contact your teacher, maybe we can work something else out. So let's start our learning journey off with prayer today. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. From Jesus Calling. Did you know that you can get a glimpse of heaven right now here on earth? When you walk along your life path with me, you are already experiencing the most important part of heaven, nearness to me. And all throughout your day, you can find hints of heaven along your pathway. The morning sunlight that opens your eyes can remind you that in heaven there is no darkness. There is only the light of my presence. The birds teach you how to sing my praises, loud and strong and filled with joy. The flowers, the trees, and the skies can all give you glimpses of the beauty that is waiting for you in heaven. As you walk through your day today, keep your eyes and ears fully open. Hints of heaven are all around you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. When God made his promise to Abraham, he made a vow to do what he had promised. Since there was no one greater than himself, he used his own name when he made his vow. He said, I promise you that I will bless you and give you many descendants. Abraham was patient, and so he received what God had promised. When we make a vow, we use the name of someone greater than ourselves, and the vow settles all arguments. To those who were to receive what he promised, God wanted to make it very clear that he would never change his purpose, so he added his vow to the promise. There are these two things, then, that cannot change and about which God cannot lie. So if we who have found safety with him are greatly encouraged to hold firmly to the hope placed before us. We have this hope as an anchor for our lives. It is safe and sure and goes through the curtain of the heavenly temple into the inner sanctuary. On our behalf, Jesus has gone in there before us and has become a high priest forever. The word of the Lord. And we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For those who are suffering from coronavirus, that they might be healed, let us pray to the Lord. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who are serving the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they will be filled with the wisdom and understanding from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Just a quick birthday shout out for all of our friends that celebrated during um, spring break. Happy birthday to Eli, to Lily Mabe, and to Henry. Have a great day, guys.